What's going on? You have Reach Sack Baby TV coming at you live for an, a live unboxing. Well, it's not really live, but it's going to be like a first person view, which is not something that you see every day, but you do see it all the time if you play video games like Call of Duty or World at War or like World War II, whatever. Xbox, PlayStation 4, whatever. You know what I'm saying. I want to do a video of a first person view so you see what I see at the same time showing you the new items that I have received in the mail so let's go ahead and just get right to it now guys I got some really awesome stuff here that I'm gonna show you I'm not gonna go in any type of order um, but it's all really freaking awesome now let's start off with uh, the verse the first set of items that I have here I'm just gonna lay them down here on the floor so you could check them out they're really cool I got these online for a great deal and they are actually wind window stickies. Um, you could like usually they're for like cars and stuff in the w car windows, but you could put them up pretty much anywhere that'll suck because they have little suction cups on them. There's like suction cups on the back of them and stuff. So you have the mummy, you have you can't scare me monster, and of course you have curly. Really cool. Uh, you don't really come across these too much, so they're really freaking rare. Next, we have a Goosebumps pillowcase. Now, you can find pillowcases online all the time, but this one is still in the original package. It's never been opened. And if you flip it around here, you can see what it actually looks like on the other side. It's really cool. Um, I've been waiting to come across like a whole bed set up in the original plastic getup, but not yet, but eventually. But I thought that was pretty rad, so I picked it up. Next, we have a Back to Ghoul set. This is awesome. It's still in the plastic. It's never been opened. It's in great condition. Um, it's just awesome. These back to school set things are really cool. This one includes a paper binder, three portfolios, a fat book, and five pencils. So you can see the monster blood there. Um, there's something behind it, which is going to be the paper binder. You have the uh, fat book there, a slappy, and then you can see that there's a set of five pencils right there so that's that's basically the whole setup it's really awesome and these rarely come around this right here is a t-shirt that I got I'm not gonna open it up because it is in like perfect foldage um, but this is a series 2000 item which is very hard to come across this is of course you could tell cry the cat um, it's brand new with the tags it's never been worn Okay, there's nothing on the back. But I thought this was freaking cool. Series 2000 stuff is, like, really hard to get a hold of. And it's a really awesome-looking shirt, too. There's uh, pictures on the front and the back. If you want to see it complete, um, check out my Instagram, ZachBabyTV, and I did post pictures of it. Next that you see here is a set of all four of the Goosebumps pocket flashlights. Um, I picked all four of these up at once. Um, you come across these usually opened, but I came across somebody selling all four of them like brand new in the plastic cardboard. So I definitely had to pick those up. Um, they're really cool. They're small, but I mean, they're just really neat looking just to give you a first person's view of how they look. Um, they're really cool. You know, again, you could usually find some of these opened for sale somewhere, but to find them like this is pretty impossible. Next, I got a hold of both of the Scary Squirts. Uh, they only made two of these, um, but they're really awesome. Um, you just dunk them in water, squeeze their head, and they fill up with water, and it shoots it out of their mouth and face and stuff. Um, they're really cool looking. Um, they only, yeah, see, they only made uh, the Shrunken Head and Slappy. Um, those are the only two, but they're really cool, and I didn't have these, so I had to pick them up. Next, we have this little uh, glue stick here. We have a glue stick here of Goosebumps. I picked this up for literally nothing. Um, they did sell this um, with usually like a head, which kind of goes on the top of it as a decoration set. Um, but it sold for like way too freaking much, to be honest. And I was like, uh, not for a glue stick. But I picked up the glue stick just to say I had the glue stick. But it does come in a package with like a little rubber head that goes on top. Um, but 
the the price was just outrageous. So I was like, yeah, there's just no way. It's not worth it to me. Uh, there's other stuff out there that's worth that money. But I got this, and for now, that's cool. Um, because I never seen one before, so why not? Next up is I got all three of the Goosebumps gruesome pins. These are extremely hard to get a hold of. Um, I found one online. Uh, one was given to me from Goosebumps number one Aussie fan, and um. Actually, no. I'm incorrect. I was thinking of something else. Never mind. Um, yeah, where did I get this one? Oh, I'm already forgetting everything. Oh, my God. Um, no, these three. Uh, the one that Goosebumps number one Aussie fan actually is that mummy pencil that's up there. That's the one that he gave me. I was mixing that up with these um, because I was looking at this one. and I was, <laughs> These are pens. Uh, the one that he gave me, I'll show you guys. Um, was actually this one right here. This is uh, the mummy pencil, the tear topper. That's the one he gave me. I was mixing that up with these pins here. I actually bought all three of these pins online uh, for a pretty good price. These, again, are really, 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 really rare. Now, if you remember from my, my older videos, I already have this pen, but the condition of it was worse. Um, it was already coming apart, and this was all bent in really bad. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to pick up all three, because all three of these are like in amazing condition, and it seems like this one's like one of the most rare out of the out of the three, um, so I definitely picked that, those up, a great find, um, yeah, they're just really cool. And check these out, guys, I got another set of Goosebumps sneakers, now, these don't have the tags on them, but... As you could tell, it doesn't look like these were really ever worn. Um, these are, they look brand new. Look at these. They're beautiful, aren't they? Look at those. It's like, it's like a campfire slash say cheese and dye mixed in one. You know, it's really cool. On the tongues here, it says goosebumps on both of them. You got spider webs on these. Um, you've already seen the design here. You got a spider right there. And, um, what's in that? Nah, it's trash. Um, what's in here? That's nah, trash. <laughs> and the backs, look at that. That's cool. Check out the back. That's sweet. And you know what's really cool is I just figured out is on the bottom of the shoes, they got skeleton feet. Yeah. And it says goosebumps on it. So I thought that was really cool. So yeah, I definitely picked those up. They're really rad. So I saved um, the last two, obviously for a reason, but I forgot to show you guys. I got this really cool bike plate. Um, it's pla it's a hard plastic. I know they made like three different colors. This is the purple and green one, but I know they made a couple of them, a couple more. But uh, you know, people used to put these on their bikes. Um, and I thought that was really cool. I, I picked this up online, and it's smaller than I thought, um, but it's it's cool. And for the last two items, as I mentioned before, is the Goosebumps audiobook value pack. This comes with three cassette tapes in one, sealed. Awesome. Now, I know they made another three-pack that had the other three audio tip books. And uh, I knew somebody that had it. And they were like, oh, I actually opened it and started listening to them on tape players. And I said, why would you open this pack? And it had the Mass Mutant and it had, like, the other two. Like, I was like, what the hell? I was like, why? Like, a Shocker on Shock Street was on it. The Mass Mutant and probably like, um, I don't know, Terror Tower was made, it's probably a Night in Terror Tower, that's what I'm guessing, probably a Night in Terror Tower, I don't, you know, because uh, Welcome to Dead House was 1997, um, but you know, I'm not sure, I'd have to ask, but yeah, there is another set of these out there with the other three, and I'm like, why would you open that, oh my god, like I was so mad, because I was going to make like a sweet deal for the other pack. So I would have both packs. But I came across these. And 
they're like almost non-existent. So it was a really, it was a good deal. Um, it's in beautiful condition. Uh, it has Deep Trouble, Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes, and The Haunted Mask 2, which I will not be opening, never, because uh, you just don't find them in this condition anymore. Um, so that's super freaking sweet. And the grand finale, the most rarest, most, probably the most expensive worth. I mean, I didn't spend a lot of money on it, but I know this particular item here is worth a ton of money. Um, this is the Goosebumps Scare Self Ink Stampers. Now, I've seen these online before individually. I've never seen them in a packet like this in a box. I didn't know it was sold that way for one, two. I've only seen a couple of these sold online and these things sell for like hundreds. I don't know why. These things are so incredibly valuable. They must be like one of the most rarest items. I mean, these things are freaking rare. And a lot of times people might have some of them, but they might be missing one of them. You know, whichever one it may be. I don't know which one's the rarest, but I know people were like mentioning like, oh, I have these two, but I can't find this one. So I got the whole four pack here, brand new in the box. This is unbelievably rare that's why i saved this for last um it's in amazing condition too um it's got curly it's got cuddles it's got the mummy the horror uh, i don't know which one's like the most rare but here's a close-up of it so there's these guys <laughs> yeah And it's in a packet. Like, I didn't even know they sold it in a packet like this. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, it doesn't really... Say, it doesn't really have any pictures or anything on the back. Uh, 1996. Um, usually that's the year anyways, you know? So, yeah, this freaking thing is so rare. So rare. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is probably, like, one of the rarest items that I have. And a lot of this stuff is rare, okay, guys? There's some of this stuff that is just unbelievable, unbelievably rare. Um, some of this stuff you could find all the time. Some of this stuff you'll never see. Um, and remember, guys, I still have plenty of these posters for sale or for trading. I have uh, posters up the yin-yang here. So they're online on eBay right now for sale. And, or if you have something that you'd like to trade for it, I'd be more than happy to uh, make a deal. So, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. So that completes everything that I've gotten today. Um, like I said, I got a bunch of stuff that came in. This is a huge unboxing, so let's just go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen so we got 19 items i just unboxed for you guys first person view just like a video game Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel where you will get all the awesome goosebumpness, Nickelodeon Snick, Are You Afraid of the Darkness, x Fileness, and also a lot of fart pranking videos. Yeah, a lot of drive-by action going on up in here. So I'm doing a lot of different stuff with my channel. I don't want to just do one thing. I'm expanding. I'm broadening my horizon, which is going to bring in more flow of new fans and followers so if you don't care for goosebumps but if you like far if you like the pranking videos welcome if you don't like the pranking videos you don't have to watch them watch my other stuff i got are you afraid of the dark i got x files i got tons of goosebumps i got a little bit of everything 90s nostalgia all up in your face so you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend i hope you enjoyed this first person view unboxing let me know if you want me to do more versions of like this um, where it's up close and personal, where I could really get some serious detail of stuff. 
And uh, yeah, so, and well, we'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe. See you later, guys.